So the wings here, you can see all the finer um, panel lines. You notice that with these new kits, they're super, super clean. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and I'm gonna have a close look at the new Zvezda Hercules, the 130H. So, brand new kit. Zvezda's been around for a long, long time. So, I'm thinking 30 odd years. Their first kits were sort of okay, a bit average, but as we've been coming along, and particularly the later ones, within the last couple of years, they've been superb. And this particular one's had a lot of um, hype. Uh, a lot of people said it's a really nice kit. Um, we'll open up and have a closer look and see uh, what's so good about it. Now this particular one is the one that we get in Australia. So the Australian versions have got the additional uh, decals in it to make the Australian RAF version. So the RAF, which is the Aust uh, Royal Australian Air Force, they've been operating the Hercules since 1958. They're actually the second country to do so after the United States. And then They've um, slowly been upgraded. So the H model is one of the later ones that got upgraded in 1978. Now, currently the um, uh, Air Force is still using the J models, uh, which were, I think, purchased in 2000 or something like that. But enough of that sort of history. Let's have a look inside. Okay, this has got one of those really firm boxes, which is really great for us because from Russia to here, it's a long way and you want everything really safe inside. Okay, what's the best way? Let's do it this way. Okay, let's start looking at some of the bits. Alright, so we'll start off with the wings. So the wings here, you can see all the finer um, uh, panel lines. You notice that with these new kits, they're super, super clean. Just the, the way they design the, uh, the supports on the sprues. Spin around here. You'll see the engine nacelles. They've got super fine panel lines on them as well. And you see here already that it's jam-packed full of a lot of small bits. Basically the more small bits you, you got inside your kit, the, the finer all the detail is going to look. So you see there's multiple bits here, they're all identical, so they're all for the, uh, the engines. Okay, so that's our first lot. Alright, so this second lot's pretty exciting. So that's got your fuselage halves in it. And again, you see the really nice fine detail. All these fine panel lines. So as you can see you've got the your vertical stabilizer totally cut in half so they're mirrored identically. The thing I like about it is you see there's a lot of inter internal detail as well in the cargo hold area and then there's quite a good thickness to the plastic as well. So sometimes you think oh you don't want it thick because that um, goes against the detail but you want a bit of thickness and a bit of strength within the fuselage here so you get less chances of warping uh, while you're building it and also afterwards after it's been assembled. So very nice, I like that. Okay, then we've got this big massive bag of stuff here. Now there's a few nice touches here. So you've got the center section for your wings, again super fine panel lines. You get your horizontal stabilizers, so two bits each. Actually, well we've got two bits here. Must be an option. No? Oh no, they're halves. Yes. Just uh, confusing myself. This is a, a nice touch here. So you've got the undercarriage and they've been weighted. So you've got the flat sections here. That gives a, an idea of how heavy the particular aircraft is because the real aircraft's going to weigh down the rubber tires as well. Okay, underneath you'll see some really finer details. You've got a, a full crew in here. Which is nice because quite often a lot of the, uh, the aircraft kits don't give you any crew anymore, no figurines. And then there's a lot of finer small panels and sensors as well. And then you've got undercarriage. Then on this side, you'll see the internal details. So this is your cargo hold area. Quite nice because you can see the individual marked uh, tie down areas. Extension over here. And then you've got various bulkheads up to the cockpit. Uh, more cargo area here. And then this is the ceiling. Actually, is that a ceiling? No, that's a side panel because it's got seats in there. And then you've got the padded internals as well. So whether you're looking through the back uh, into the interior co uh, cargo area, it's all fully detailed. And hence why all these, all these parts are included. You've got the individual doors there too. Okay, so there are all the plastic bits. All right, let's get on to the other things. So 
these are the standard decals you'll get. So these are uh, in this visa kit, no matter where you get this in the world. Okay, so you've got options for various countries. So you've got Japanese, you've got uh, you know, Polish, English, uh, and some very nice nose art there as well. Then there's the decals for the instrument panel. Then also in this bag, you've got the clear parts. So I don't know if you can see there, hopefully there's not too many reflections. You've got a lot of uh, lenses for around the aircraft. You also got the, uh, the side panels here for the cockpit. And then there's a the main windscreen as well. Okay, as we get into this, so these are some instructions for the included decals. Okay, so various options. So this is the American one, US Air Force. Got the Polish one. Uh, what's that one there? That one is Korean. You got the Japanese one. And then you got an English one there. Okay, so within these instructions, you see this, this huge set of stenciling along the wings and such. Then along with that, actually that's it, is it? Oh, that would be it because uh, the main lot is right there. Now, difference being with the Australian one is you get a sheet of Australian decals. Okay, these are printed by Ronan, which are very, very nice and thin decals. And these are very specific for this particular C-130H. They're all very dark color because this is a low vis. And then the Australian version also had a very specific type of camouflage pattern. And so to help you do that, you get the special manuals to show you the particular camouflage. Okay, so that's the Australian version of the C-130H. So it shows you the various colors that you'll need. And you see the low vis decals in their places here. So each one of these numbers, and there's quite a lot of them. So there's a lot of stenciling. So you can see that's the underside on this side. And then you've got the side view on that side. Really nice. And it's good there's a little photo reference there, but there's a lot more photos you can find on the internet as well to help you along. And then basic instructions on how to use them. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. We could have a closer look at the manual, I guess. Let me just quickly open this up. Okay, we'll get this out of here. All right, move that there. Okay, so we've got a manual with all the parts, the components that are included in the kit. I think construction starts with the cockpit area. So you see all the seats going in. There's a little, um, the base of the cockpit instruments. I'll go over here, start open there. So you can see all the, uh, the crew getting put together. Go in, so your three-man crew, and then the interior stud here. So you've got the rear bulkhead, it goes into the cargo area. Preparation of the fuselage to receive all the internal details. Uh, I've got the boulders here going onto the bottom of the fuselage. Some of the glazing. Uh, this is all the fittings on the inside of the cargo area. The main cargo module is fit inside one side of the fuselage and then you replicate the other side and then that gets put all together. So it's all sandwiched together. And then next this will be going into the wings. Okay, wing construction here. So you got your center section and your upper and lowers. The engines, all the nacelles being put together. Uh, you got the tanks that go under the wing. And then you got your horizontal stabilizers and they fit onto the aircraft. And then there's also a selection of different noses there. Glazing going into the windscreen. And then it'll be the undercarriage over here. You got the wheels getting done. So the weighted wheels. All the finer sensors, all the little nitty gritty things going in, the rear uh, deck and the door for the cargo. And then all the propellers that are all on. And then final assembly with the basic locations of the decals. But 
with this, as I've just shown you before, with all the options of the decals, you can pick any of those uh, main um, uh, options. So there were four countries that were in the original kit. And then there's also the Australian ones, which are included if you buy it in Australia. So they're a special edition. So I hope you like that uh, open box. Look at the uh, brand new Zvezda uh, Lockheed 130H Hercules.